Let's talk about rabbits. I'm sure a few of you must have seen my recent video on estivation, snail estivation, where I did a little introduction about myself. You can see I'm officially dressed today with a lab coat. That's because I'm handling a more conventional animal. Uh, the snail is much, uh, more like a non-conventional livestock currently now because uh, the animal is not even taught in the university curriculum though I had to do a lot of research after studying animal science. So as an animal scientist, this is one of my areas of uh, uh, profession. Like I told you earlier in the snow video, I'm into different areas of livestock production and management. Poultry, grass cutter, pig production, uh, rabbit production, snow production, fish production, and all of that. So today we'll be talking about rabbits. Briefly about what the rabbit is. You know, a lot of persons think the rabbit is just a pet animal. Yes, we have different types of rabbits. Uh, some are used for pet purpose, like the chinchilla, the uh, English, the Dutch. These are small, medium, small breeds of rabbits that are specifically used for pet purpose in the European countries. But this rabbit I'm holding is a New Zealand white rabbit. Uh, we have two very good breeds that perform very well in Nigeria here. We have the New Zealand White and the California White. This is a New Zealand White. And uh, the rabbit, the meat, it's one of the best meats you can ever consume. Man specifically consume animals for the protein content. Now the rabbit is one of the animals with the highest percentage of protein in its meat. Though a lot of persons don't know that, so they don't uh, uh, go for the rabbit meat. Everybody uh, wants to take either chicken meat, beef meat, or pork meat. But they, they, the thing they don't know is the rabbit's meat possesses more protein in its meat than that of cattle, uh, beef, um, chicken, and your pork, and what have you, mutton and chivon. Mutton is um, a cheap meat. White chivon is goat meat, though locally everybody call it goat meat, but ideally it's called chivon, uh, when you look at the professional side of it. So I'm going to tell you a little about the rabbit. The rabbit contains about 20.08% protein in its meat, and the meat is tasty, more tastier than all those class of meat I mentioned earlier, and it lacks cholesterol. It is totally free of cholesterol. So this meat is suitable for every class of human being, both for the old, for the young, for babies. Every class of persons would want to cherish a meat that does not contain cholesterol. So the meat is ideal for consumption. If you haven't known that before, you can be rest assured that rabbit's meat furnishes good amounts of protein in the meat. And it is also very good for experiments. It's one of the best experimental animals, especially in fields like the animal science department and uh, biological sciences under the science faculties in our universities. So uh, it is highly valued in the higher institution and some other research institutes where uh, research works are ongoing. So the rabbit is also valuable as a research animal. And it is quite easy to raise. You can see the place I'm standing and some boxes around. These are hutches. We keep these animals in hutches. And uh, these hutches are constructed with woods and wire mats. Though we have different types of rabbit structures. We have the cages, the hutches, even the deep litter floor system. So if you want to go into rabbit production, it depends on the system of production you want to go into. We can come set it up for you, either as mainly for consumption or for uh, commercial purpose. As a matter of fact, here in the Niger Delta, rabbits are very rare. You can scarcely find farms where you have rabbits. So we can't even meet up the demand for rabbit meat and uh, for research purpose. So give us a call. If you want to know more about rabbit, we can't say it all in one day. Just the advantages of rabbit will take us more than 30 minutes to discuss on. The nutrient content, the importance, how cheap it is to raise rabbit, and all of that. So let us know if you are interested in going into rabbit farming, or if you want to get rabbits for consumption, 
you get our number from here I'll get I'm gonna give you my contact before I say goodbye on this part of the clip so don't worry our uh, animals are safe for you to eat I'll be making a clip where I'll be treating those animals so our uh, animals uh, I know when you see the rabbit you want to think about Lassa fever no don't worry we treat our animals here they are vaccinated properly and we ensure that we give the meats out when they are good and ready for consumption so if you like this video subscribe like and share and our number is 080-68-52-5032 080-68-52-5032 now if you have a rabbit this is how to handle the rabbit I'll just give you that as an expo you pick it by the pole where I'm holding the rabbit there's a loose skin it's called the pole you can see the animal is trying to kick don't face it to yourself if you face it to yourself it's gonna kick you so when you pick it by the pole you place your left hand by the rump the ass of the rabbit is called the rump so you place it by the rump so the animal is settled and with that you can do whatever you want to do with the animal so thank you bye bye and once again happy new year